Hello and welcome to Calling Attention. Today we are recording this video on Friday afternoon. Seven working days of Parliament. Still, not 30 seconds inside Lok Sabha or inside Rajya Sabha by the Prime Minister. The closest he's come is in the precincts of Parliament, outside Rajya Sabha, outside Lok Sabha, outside the building, he has done a media conference. Manipur has been the issue. Manipur deserves a serious discussion. The Prime Minister needs to participate in this discussion. But today, on calling attention, we are examining the fallout of fake news, which can have serious consequences across the state, across the country. On Manipur, where did it all start? It's the picture of a Delhi murder victim from last year, 2022. It got circulated as if it happened in Manipur. This fanned the flames. It was a horrific viral video. And a leading, Asia's leading news agency, I'm not going to mention their name, carried the fake news, implying that these came, this video came from one community and those arrested in that case. So one community versus the other community. This was completely a fake video. Irresponsible journalism. And the Press Information Bureau, in fact, are only 1,200 they acted in out of 1.2 lakh pieces of fake news requests in the last three years, only 1,200 acted. Government failed to stop uncensored version of the video from being circulated by the social media. The limited point here, because the government is trying to say this is equal to Rajasthan or some other states. In Rajasthan and in many other states, there's been no internet shutdown in the last 90 days. But in Manipur, things are obviously far from normal. There's been an internet shutdown for the last 90 days. In fact, I asked a question in Parliament. I'll just read that question to you. It says, government admitted in Parliament to my question blocked 635 URLs. I'm reading the question. Blocked 635 URLs on the internet since December 2021. That's what it said in Parliament in answer to my question. But there was no urgency and no promptness displayed this time. Instead, what do we see? We see G20 hoardings. Very good. And what's the slogan for those hoardings? One earth, one family, one future. All very good with the G20. G20 talks about tomorrow. But today, today, Manipur needs healing. Let's discuss Manipur on the floor of Parliament. Let's begin to discuss it. Seven days have gone. Let's start Monday morning, 11 a.m. Manipur. Come, Mr. Prime Minister. We want to hear you speak on Manipur. <laughs> 